Dear friends, thank you for coming to King School to perform. I think you did a great job. Thank you very much for bringing Professor Bodywise's traveling menagerie. It was a delight to see the wonderful reaction from the students. Finally, someone understands the deal with adult fighting. I also wanted to thank you for actually caring about people like us. Because it showed how bullying is bad and hurtful to people. I really liked when you guys started to sing. I liked the way actors came out and showed us that they care. Keep up the good work. We need all the help we can get educating our students to become healthy adults and good community members. Initially, it was four of us. We were hired to do a small community relations program called Professor FTW Bodywise and His Traveling Menagerie. You fed me nothing but junk food. Buckle up, buckle up, buckle up, do the buckle up. Cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. Because it was such a hit, Kaiser said, this is really a solid program, let's just keep it going, and they just kept hiring us to do more shows. So the leaders, in 1986, recognized what a great thing BodyWise was and thought, well, wouldn't this be a great way to have a national community benefit presence? Our first show was sort of a very 80s style show in many ways. Professor BodyWise must really be <laughs> It looked a little bit like an amusement park. It had a lot of health issues we were trying to cover. <laughs> Brushing your teeth, wearing your seatbelts, exercising, saying no to drugs. <laughs> The early years of Body Wise were a lot of fun, and it was a lot of figuring it out as you go. The first time I saw Professor Body Wise, I was in the third grade. I remember loving the performance and thinking to myself, I want to do something like that one day. Exercise makes you healthy so you can grow up strong. The Secrets program began in Northern California. We launched that program here, and it was a success. I could give you a ride home. I mean, I'm going right past your house. Why, you don't even know where I live. Well, that's why you better come with me, otherwise it'll take me all night to find it, you know? <laughs> right on he's funny, and he's cute. Okay, I'll go get my stuff. Okay. That was quite an experience. <laughs> Launching Secrets was an experience. Secrets, a theatrical presentation by Kaiser Permanente. It's targeted at high school students. It's caused quite a bit of controversy for the simple fact that it illuminates the AIDS crisis. Do you know how to put one of these on? Well, uh, what do you want me to do, show you? Monica, all right. Use this. Oh. Obviously, this is a very, very effective way to talk to and to teach high school. How did the idea generate to begin with? Kaiser Permanente realized that the next wave of the infection was going to hit teenagers very hard, and it has. Your test results show that you have developed the HIV antibodies. Secrets was developed in 89. It was well written. It was emotional. People really understood the message when they saw what we were getting at. You don't have to go through this alone. In 1993, the Educational Theater Program came to our high school and performed Secrets. Now, I know this sounds weird, but I took that AIDS antibody test, and now I have to go in there for my results. What were you doing? It helped me connect the dots, and it really made it real for me. Middle school is the most underserved age group, so Intersections was about everything. No drugs, no sex. No violence, no, no chewing gum in class, no, no cussing, no fighting, just say no, well, no! It showed a parent's perspective and a young adult's perspective about life and the choices they can make. So it was really about creating that opportunity for conversation. And it was a new audience for this department. They liked the technical elements and the, the fact that there was another being, and it was really fun and weird. Middle school is a time when you're looking to your peers for all kinds of information, and you get good information, but mostly wrong information. I know the show is working because kids want to talk to me. And immediately they're sharing with me. Can't wait to go home and talk to my mom now. <laughs> In 1995, we started the Care Actor Program. We provide actors that can pose as patients. It gives the clinician an opportunity to practice their communication skills. Uh, Mrs. Ravel, that, that stuff you're talking about is a homeopathic remedy. There's no proof that it helps beyond the placebo effect. 
Are you saying my headaches aren't real? No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I... We know that so many things break down because it's a communication issue. It's always about the human interaction. I will be looking for a new doctor. I started in 98 with characters. We found early on that if we could portray the human side of the situation, and that would go hand in hand with whatever didactic was going on, we had them. I will wait until I get outside in my car to break down and cry. And every time they've done it, a physician has come up and said, that's my story. That is exactly my story. Up in the attic, it's time for a treat. So give yourself a sugar or anything sweet. Professor Bodywise's traveling menagerie had been running for a long time. So in 2002, that program was replaced with Zip's Great Day. Every time you make the right choice, Zip, I get just a little bigger, yeah? And the bigger I get, the more I can help you. One of the most important things for good health is education about health, how to do things safely in a healthy way. Let's dance. Nothing does that like live theater, dance, and music. Stop, feel, think, choose, act. <laughs> Make a resolution. Stop, feel, think, choose, act. Make a <laughs> My bag of tasty snacks, they help me to relax. Protein, protein, it feels so so. Protein, protein, it feels so so. All I want to do is fit in. I'm worried about you. All I'd ever be is the girl who killed herself. The more you like yourself, the more people will like you. We got a name for you! You must read a book that you've never read before, from beginning to the end. We spend a lot of effort to make sure they're getting the message. And what's the word? <laughs> and that takes shape in so many ways. That's the wonderful thing about Imagination Red! I think Kaiser Permanente's educational theater program is one of the best educational theater programs in the country. It's their ability to reach a wide variety of students, adults. For all my parents and my audience members out here, here's how it works. Each team is going to act out an emotion. And keep a very high quality of performance. I think we can all really be proud of the work we do here every day. We're part of a bigger community. We really try to make a strong impact. I just had a parent come up and repeatedly thank me for all I've provided for the kids based on these programs. And it's free. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely free. We have great partners, and we really have a very fine team doing this work. And I think it's only going to get better as we move forward. I won't say anything. This is a time when everything's changing. The condom didn't break. Herman put it on wrong. I can get herpes from you. <laughs> Kaiser's gonna keep saving the world one STD at a time. It's gonna be awesome. Flaming hot cheesy puffs don't have any? No! Hello! I'm so honored to meet you! I'm, I'm your biggest fan! What's I thought about all your cases! Hi! Hi. I'm coming out of my book! No, do yeah. yeah. Tall tales! Cool! The magic word is... Sure! the best assembly ever. It caught my attention the whole time and it made me really think about a lot of things. You're doing something that really can be of benefit to the members that are receiving service. It really related to me because I could actually feel what the characters were feeling. The funniest part was when she held up the sign and smacked the evil guy's head. It's everyday life. We already like understand it. We know, oh, we go through that, so that's what we can do to make it better. One of the best things that I've really seen in a long, long time. It was fun and I really enjoyed doing it. The play was funny. We get as much back as we give. And I don't know if there's anything better than that. Yeah.